Mediation is a process where a neutral third party assists the parties in trying to reach a settlement that is tailored to their special situation. A mediated settlement agreement is an agreement that is reached in mediation between the two parties and is put in writing and it's often an outline of what the final order will look like. It's signed by all the parties, their attorneys, and the mediator right there that day when you have the mediation and it is binding. The courts will enforce it. I've been trained not only as a mediator but also as a family law mediator. So I have done a lot of mediations for family law and probate law, and both as an attorney representing people and as a mediator. An attorney can never represent both parties. That would be unethical. A mediator doesn't represent any of the parties. A mediator is neutral and is someone who helps the parties to reach an agreement. Everything you say in mediation is confidential. However, I've also been a lawyer representing one party in a mediation, helping them through the process. Mediation is something that's known as alternative dispute resolution. And when I first started practicing law many, many years ago, it was something that was new. And now it's something that we do in nearly every family law case. There are many judges that will not allow you to go to trial unless you've been to mediation first. I believe that people hire my firm to be their representation because we listen to people and they come in here, they feel comfortable knowing that they are are going to be heard and they're not just a number. My current and past clients would say that this firm really cares about them and that we really take care of the details so that uh, everything is put into their decree that needs to be in there or into their order that needs to be there. We believe client communication is very important. Every time that we hear something from opposing counsel or from the other party, we will notify the client about what's going on in their case. We return phone calls that day or the very next day, and we check our emails several times a day. We're a small firm, and the advantage of working with a small firm is that you get to know all of the staff of the firm, and all of the staff of the firm gets to know you. My law firm is different from other firms because we really make a point to make sure that everybody on staff knows what's going on with all the cases. We sit down together and go over all the cases together as a staff, and we um, pray for our clients and we pray with our clients. If I'm a lawyer representing a party who is about to go into mediation, we want to prepare for that mediation by going over the facts of their case and listening out the things that are most important so that we don't forget to mention anything during mediation that they want to make sure gets put into the final agreement. And so we'll talk about who the mediator is, what to expect in mediation, and what uh, topics that we want to make sure that the mediator covers. If I'm the mediator in a case, oftentimes it will be the lawyers who have contacted me and asked me to be the mediator. But if a, if a party is pro se, for instance, and they are told to agree with the other side on who the mediator would be, and they want to choose me as a mediator, then they want to ask me things like how much I charge, how long I think it'll take, where the mediation would take place, and how much time that I have in doing mediations. 